Hello everyone. Well, I've got another pneumatic Henry to unbox. This one is the Henry Extra that comes with a full-size turbo brush as well as a dedicated hard floor nozzle. Now, I bought this hoping that it would be the latest variant. Now, there's the newest Henrys that have the tool storage on the back to hold two of the accessories. If you check my Hetty unboxing, you'll see that there is slots at the back and they've incorporated that in most of the full-size cleaners now, including the Henry Extra. But judging by the pictures on the box, I don't think this is the latest version, unless, of course, they haven't changed the box for this one. Anyway, it says it's an HVX200 model. So I got this because it was a, at a very good price. So more or less I got this for the price you'd pay for a regular Henry, or a bit less, I think. So let's have a look. It might be the latest version. I'm not sure. But looking at the box, it might have been in the warehouse for a while. So I'll soon find out. All right. I've packed a lot in this box. It's the energy label right in the top. So it gets an A rating, of course, for energy. It gets a C rating for dust emissions. It gets a C rating for dust pickup on carpet, a C rating for dust pickup on hard floors, and it's 72 decibels. And it will use, on average, 25.2 kilowatt hours per annum. First out of the box, you'll be very familiar if you're familiar with pneumatic cleaners, you bog standard small accessories, you won't need to open those. But you get the dusting brush, the all purpose nozzle with a slide on brush attachment, the crevice tool, and the little adapter that enables you to fit any of the tools directly to the end of the hose. Next, we have again, I won't unwrap this, but it's exactly the same. I'll be showing you a demo of this at some point, but this is the later lower energy carpet and floor nozzle, which I personally prefer. Ah, now in fact, I will open it because it, it is slightly different. And it hopefully means that this is the latest version. They have changed it. There's been quite a lot of changes to the pneumatic cleaners recently. Even just small changes, a lot of people wouldn't notice. But this has actually got the parking bracket now actually moulded in to the machine. Instead of being a clip, it's actually moulded on. So that is a change. So there we go, that's the, the regular carpet and floor nozzle, which personally, in my personal experience and in the demonstrations I've done using this nozzle, it does perform better than the previous nozzle that went before it. Here's the additional nozzle, which is why it's called Extra. The full-sized aero brush, which is much better if you've got pets to clean up, pet hairs, because it's got a rotating brush, it will deal with pet hairs a lot better than a standard suction nozzle. You've also got in here access, if I can open it, access to the turbine in case you need to unclog it. There we go. So that's the little turbine. So this is powered by the suction from Henry and it drives that fan which of course then drives the brush roll. Because it's got plastic turbines you have to be careful what you pick up with this. Don't pick up any hard or sharp objects because they can damage the fan. So just be extra careful. If you're cleaning up with a Henry, um, more difficult to clean up items. You know if you're cleaning up after DIY jobs and stuff then use your regular nozzle. Don't use this. Just keep this nozzle for your regular carpet cleaning. So that's that. Ah, oh, now this is different. It's not quite the nozzle illustrated on the box. But this is your dedicated hard floor nozzle. Again, it's got a parking bracket. So this is ideal if you've got lots of areas of hard floor to clean. You can, of course, use the main nozzle for your hard floors because it does have the brush that uh, goes down at the touch of a pedal. But if you've got even more delicate floors, you could use this particular dedicated hard floor nozzle. Got the instruction book now. 
the Henry Extra, pretty standard instructions you get with the pneumatics. It's been mainly pictures and looking at the instructions and seeing if it's showing me. If it's, ah, fingers crossed, because the instructions show, I'm, ho I'm hopefully it will be, the instructions are showing the new body which is here. Hopefully, I think it will be, since the instructions have got that. Hopefully this is the very latest generation. I'm hoping it is. I think it will be now I've seen the instructions. I can't see them putting the newer instructions inside without actually having the newer version vacuum. So again, you've got your standard two metal tubes, your very long hose, and it's a conical hose now to increase the airflow and the performance. So you've got a wide end here and a narrower end at the handle end. And finally, tool-wise, we've got the curved handle with the newer style of suction control, so it's coloured red. Um, it's also got a little foam block in there, which I believe is a, a little diffuser. It's supposed to reduce the noise level, I think, when you've got it open. And you've got a plus and minus just there, so you turn it to the minus to reduce suction and of course turn it to plus to close it off for maximum suction because this is just single speed as far as I'm aware now. There's no twin speed motor on this machine. So let's take out this cardboard and yes I'm very pleased to report it is the very latest Henry Extra as I said, when it was delivered and I saw the illustration on the box, I was a little bit disappointed. But this is the latest generation of Henry Extra Cleaner. So we've got one, two, three spare dust bags. Nice, large HEPA flow bags. Very strong, very big. And of course you've got your little seal to keep it sealed onto Henry so the dust won't escape. And you've got that little flap to hold over the opening when you're taking the bag to the bin. Come on Henry, let's meet your viewers. That's it, yes. Henry is the latest model. So I'm really pleased that I've got the very latest Henry Extra in my hands. So here we are. The smiley face we all come to love from Henry with removable face on the newer versions. So this is what makes the newer Henry's different. And this is being phased in. You'll find this on the regular Henry and I believe the regular full-sized Hetty, of course the Hetty Compact. Uh, I'm not sure at the moment if it's going to be supplied with the Charles or the James, or what's the other cleaner I'm thinking of? George. Um, I'm not sure if Charles, uh, James has it, James is a slightly different body, but anyway, this is the new moulded bucket for the pneumatics, which is an improvement. So instead of having the single clip that the older versions had that would hold just one cleaning tool, you've now got space to put two. So whichever two you use the most, you could either put the crevice tool and the dusting brush there, or the dusting brush and the all-purpose nozzle, whatever combination you find you use most they will slot into the back and you've also got moulded on now the parking bracket which obviously fits the new parking bracket slot new parking bracket on the actual nozzles so there we go and also for any of you who don't like to see Henry Henry's name a bit skew if we've got this, well you can still move it slightly but you can see there's now a cutout in the back so you can't put Henry's hat on the wrong way anymore. I know some people, they don't like to see Henry's hat on like this. You can, would have been possible to do that with the old Henry, but now because of that little groove in the back, you can't do it. It won't allow you. So Henry will always face the correct way. thanks to that new design. So, single speed on this one. You've got the mains on switch, or mains on light, sorry, and you've got the 
green on off switch. So some of the earlier Henrys with the two speed they could fail. It was the point of failure some people complained that they went wrong because of the two speed switch. But it's just now single speed, very little to go wrong. You've got your built-in handle of course. Um, so it's HVX 211. The serial number on this, if you're interested, is 16460740. And uh, of course it's still made in the UK. It's 620 watts. You've got the robust cord rewind system where we can pull the cord out. I believe it's still a 10 meter cord, so you don't have to keep unplugging and plugging the machine in when you're cleaning. So a lot of people find that they can plug the Henry in into one socket on their ground floor and then they can clean their entire ground floor without having to find a new socket. Which is often a bugbear of some vacuums, they don't have enough cable, but that's no problem with Henry. So yes, there we go, I'm really pleased to have the newest version. So it'll be just the same, I expect, underneath. We've got the motor, of course, located under there. You've got your filter. And there's the fitted Epiflow bag, like that. Just pushes on, very simple bag change. Just push on to the black bag support tube. And this way up, right inside up, uppermost, just push it right on. Make sure before you put the filter in place that the bag is not protruding. You make sure the bag's tucked well in. Then you can pop the filter on, and the filter also forms, of course, a seal. Then pop Henry's hat or head on, lining him up. Close the clips, and we're ready to go. So I'll just turn him on briefly. I'll be doing a full demo and comparing the turbo nozzle with the regular nozzle and I'll be doing a pet hair pickup test as well. Because Henry's a very good machine, especially the later versions with the new nozzle, I think they're a great improvement. I do like the, the compact Hetty as well, if you want something a little bit smaller and lighter. Um, the compact Hetty performs as well as a full sized Hetty, it's very good still has the uh, extra long cable as well. But if you've got pets, and this is not just pneumatic, it's any, any suction only cleaner, they don't cope very well, in my experience, with pet hair, unless you have the turbo brush. So what I'll do first, we'll just show you the turbo brush in action, the spinning, and then I'll give the machine a quick go, and then I'll be doing a full demo very soon. Now Henry himself is a pretty quiet vacuum cleaner, but when you add the noise of the aero brush it does become quite a bit noisier, as you'll see when I switch Henry on. I'm just going to show you the brush spinning. So even, even with a lower wattage motor it is more than enough suction to power this turbo brush. In fact, I believe Pneumatic have designed the lower wattage Henrys to perform better than the 1200 watt machines that went before. So they've really done an excellent job of maintaining and improving the performance of Henry, but of course reducing the electricity. So there we go, that's the Aero brush, which um, has a very fast spinning brush when Henry's on. Two nice wheels at the back. Just give you a very quick go on the carpet. I can't show it working yet, but I will be showing it in the demo. Obviously the brush does slow down a bit when it's on carpet, but it wasn't slowing down that much. But anyway, the proof of the pudding is in the demo, so I'll be showing you this properly with some of my dog's pet hair, which is normally quite difficult for most vacuum cleaners. So before I go, I'll just run Henry briefly over the carpet using the standard nozzle, and um, I'll use him around my home for a bit before I do the full demonstration.
Well, that's about the end of my unboxing and first look at the Henry Extra. I'll be doing a full demonstration and review on my channel shortly, so please subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload that video. Please also click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified by email every time I upload a new floor care video. If you have any questions about Henry, please ask in the comments section below and please check out my pneumatic playlist where you'll see many other pneumatic demonstrations. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.